Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this M1 MacBook Air 2020 and we're going to be erasing this computer. So you might want to actually wipe this computer if you're selling the laptop or you're handing it over to somebody else and you want to get rid of all your data. So the very first thing that you should probably do is to deauthorize any accounts on your actual computer itself. For example, if you have a subscription to iTunes Music or if you have your iCloud account on there, you should probably log out of that first. So the way to log out of your iCloud account is to go into the top left of your screen and go to System Preferences. And then what you need to do is to find the iCloud account here. So if we click on Apple ID, we want to click on the Overview button and then click the Sign Out button. If we're trying to sell the computer, well, we just want to just get rid of everything. So we press Continue here. Here it's asking us if we want to delete the local photos from our computer. So we just want to delete that now. It's not deleting it from your account, it's just deleting it from the actual local computer. And then we're going to delete from Mac here. Then it's asking us for our actual password, which we're going to use to log out now. The other thing to do is to check if we have a music subscription. So we want to deauthorize this computer for any music purchases and also any kind of subscriptions you might have. So if you open up the music app and then go to account and then click on authorizations and deauthorize this computer, that will deauthorize the laptop from any of the purchases and you'll be free to transfer your data to a different computer. And also if you're signed in, you should just sign out from this list as well. Another thing that you should do as well is to upgrade the operating system to the latest level. That's because when the M1 Apple Silicon Macs first came out, if you did this erase and reinstall of the operating system, it would actually fail. So just make sure that it's not on the original operating system and ideally you should probably update it before you do any kind of wiping or erasing of this computer. So to check the operating system version, we just click on the top left hand side of the screen and click on about this Mac. And then we can see the operating system version here. So as long as we're not on 11.0, then we should be fine. If you are on 11.0 of macOS Big Sur, then just click the software update button and it will check whether there's an update for you to apply. But uh, as long as we're not on 11.0, then we should be fine. So all we need to do now is to shut down the computer. So we just click on the Apple logo on the top left and then click shut down and then shut down again. And that will turn off the computer. And then we're going to be ready to go into the recovery mode. So now that the computer is turned off, all we need to do is to hold down the power button and wait for the options to appear. So it says here, continue holding for startup options. And then we just continue to hold. Then it's loading startup options and then we can lift up our finger and then we get to this menu right now. So when we get to this options menu, what we can do is click on there and click continue. And then it's gonna load into the recovery menu. So this stage is asking us for the admin user password. So we don't actually have to enter this at this stage. What we can do is just go to the recovery assistant menu option here. And then this reveals an erase Mac option here. And we can just click on that to erase the Mac. And if I click on this blue button here, then it's going to allow us to erase the Mac now. The other method as well is if we click on our username and type in our password, we'll get into the standard user menu. Or what you can do is go into the disk utility and press continue, and then we can go ahead and erase the actual hard drive itself. So once we have disk utility loaded up, we have these kind of volumes here. So we've got the Macintosh HD and we've got our data volume there. And if you click on view and then show all devices, we can see here that we can erase this entire solid state drive. So this solid state drive, because it's formatted as APFS, contains these, this container and then these two volumes, which contain the, uh, the data itself that you want to get rid of. A similar effect can be achieved if I click on one of the child volumes here. If I click Erase here, if I erase the Macintosh HD, it's not going to erase the data partition. So what we can do is click on Erase Volume Group, and that's going to erase everything. It kind of achieves the same goal. So I'm going to go back to the parent, click Erase here, Macintosh HD, and then click Erase there. And that's going to erase all the data on the actual computer itself so that we're ready to reinstall the operating system. So this is the method I'm going to use today. So here it's just giving us a warning. I'm going to erase the Mac as normal. And it's asking us, do we really want to do this? Yes, we are sure we want to do this. Erase and let that continue. So now that this Erase Mac process is completed, it's asking us to activate the actual Mac itself, and we need to actually connect to the internet to do that. So I'm going to click on the Wi-Fi network and click to my local network. Once I've connected to the Wi-Fi, it's going to activate the actual Mac itself. 
Because I didn't sign out of the iCloud account, it's asking me for my Apple ID password. So this means that your iCloud account is still attached to this computer. So I'm typing in my Apple ID account and my password too. So now it's saying that my Mac is activated. So now I can get into the recovery utilities. And uh, what I can do is just check that the actual disk itself is formatted correctly so we can install the operating system again. So now I've got this untitled APFS volume. What I'm going to do is erase this and call this Macintosh HD and click Erase so that we can get the default name. And I'm going to click Done here and then Exit. And then I'm going to click on Reinstall Mac OS. And I've got the Big Sur beta, so I'm going to reinstall that one. So this is the beta that I'm enrolled to. I'm just going to reinstall it anyway. Press Continue and then let's start. I'm going to press Agree to this. Then I'm going to select the drive that I just formatted into the APFS Macintosh HD. So I'm going to press Continue here and Continue again. And it's going to reinstall this operating system, first by downloading it from the internet and then installing it. The speed of this will depend on the speed of your internet connection. Uh, if you've got a fast internet connection, it should take less than an hour. Um, just let that run and let it continue. So once the installation of the operating system is complete, you'll be met with the standard region selector. And all you need to do is click continue and set this up as a brand new MacBook. Or if you're going to sell this computer or give it to someone else, you can just leave it at this screen and just uh, shut down the computer by holding down the power button. And then it's as if they've received a brand new computer wiped of all your data. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.